Okay, guys. Hello again. Um, it's me, Carlton, and I'm back. I know there are tons and tons of videos out there about how to install a new ROM, but uh, you know, after the last video that I made, uh, I noticed that Rascarlo on XDA has released an update for his Rasta Cat. Sorry, last time I was seeing it wrong for his Rasta Cat ROM. And, uh, you know, I wanted to go through um, how you can, you know, uh, flash a new, flash, meaning load, I guess, load a new ROM. Uh, there are some things that you have to have, you, some requirements you have to have before you do this. You need um, an unlocked bootloader, um, a custom uh, recovery twerp or clockwork mod um, but make sure that those recoveries are the latest versions of those recoveries um, I I really like twerp I've been using it ever since I discovered it uh, you know clockwork mod is still really really good but I just I just like twerp a little bit better it's just personal preference okay so Oh, and also you need uh, the files in your phone, obviously. So, and if you don't know what uh, an unlocked bootloader or a custom recovery is, then please do some research, uh, you know, read up on it. It's really not that difficult uh, to understand. Just, you know, make sure you um, understand what's going on and also make sure you know that whatever you do to your phone is your own responsibility um so let me show you that i have those files on my phone i have a file manager installed and you can see i have paranormal android uh the paranormal android g apps for 4.4 kitkat and i also have the rasta cat rom right next to it uh those two zipped files i guess and so i'm gonna go ahead and i already have a an unlocked bootloader and my custom recovery is twerp so i can go to reboot into recovery there are other ways to reboot into recovery you may want to look up or i'll provide the links to in the description but uh you know just <laughs> reboot into recovery <laughs> And I would also like to add, uh, please, please, please follow the instructions that are given on the page that you download the ROM because, you know, every, every ROM developer has their own uh, little, you know, recommended way to flash or install their ROMs. So let me show you what I have here. Um, I got twerp. Let's see. 2.6.3 going on over here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit wipe and usually you know twerp kind of just sets it up for you so all you got to do is swipe and it'll do the stuff that you need to do let me go down the list though of what I'm reading from the Rastacat ROM page so let's see he says latest twerp is highly recommended um, wipe the cache, wipe the Dalvik, and you know, this does it automatically for you. It kind of bundles it up into a bunch of stuff and see, you see there. And also it, it'll tell you to, let's see, flash the build, the build being, you know, um, the ROM. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go down to tree apps slide to flash and keep in mind I'm doing this as if you know you're coming from a different ROM or you're coming from a position where uh, you know you you want to wipe your phone for example you just got your phone and you know you want to you know you want to unlock it and flash ROMs and everything I, some other ROMs you can uh, what's called dirty flash which means you don't have to wipe everything you can just flash over it but please like I said read the instructions and you'll know if you can do that or not so after that's done 
Uh, he lists flash super user or root permissions uh, or super SU um, as optional and I'm not going to be doing that today. And then it tells for us to reboot the phone, reboot and system there. Um, it's saying that I don't have super SU installed and it's asking uh, if I want it done and if I want it rooted. I, no, I guess not this time, but you can definitely root your phone afterwards if you want. That's not a problem. L please look into what root is and keep in mind that you don't necessarily have to have root to flash different ROMs. Maybe I'll do a little speed up here. It's taking a while. Okay, there we go. And then what's recommended next is to, let's see, log into your Google and let it sync. Um, yeah, let me do that real quick. And I apologize if I say um a lot in my videos. It's just that I don't have a script or anything written out. So um is very easy to go to. <laughs> Okay, and here it is after put your information in. Let's see. <laughs> uh, let me add that uh, last time when I was trying to swipe all the way to the Google Now page, the reason why I wasn't able to do it because uh, I inadvertently did something to where I turned off Google Now, but that's why I can't access that page. So set up your Google Now in KitKat 4.4, and you'll be able to go into that uh, page with all your cards and everything. Let's see, let me just go ahead and show you the build for this. And he did add some build tweaks since the last uh, version of this uh, Rastacat. 4.4. I'll show you the build here. See, right at the bottom, Rascat build date November 5th, whereas the previous one I believe was uh, November 3rd. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope that helped out a little. It also uh, recommends that you. Oh, it also recommends that you. Um, <laughs> It also recommends that you reboot your phone after you've set up everything and uh, you've set up your account and you've synced. So, let's see, let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll call it a day. There you go, guys, thank you. And keep in mind that will wipe all your data. There are ways to retain your data. Please go ahead and look that up or if you want, I'll provide a link for you below. Um, that being said, it's not that difficult to, well, especially on Nexus phones, because I, that's kind of like what they're made to do. You could do whatever you want with them. But that being said, it's not that hard to, um, you know, flash new ROMs and stuff. Uh, you just have to be very careful, do your research and read. Very important to read before you do anything. So thank you for watching.